October is coming to an end, and Halloween preparations are ongoing. From October 26 through November 9, the Hogwarts Halloween event brings an exciting new gacha interaction, intending to entice us to open our wallets and make some spooktacular purchases. The Board of Bounty is a thrilling mini board game where you move your character around a cyclic path, collecting an array of enticing rewards along the way. You can move your character by flipping a bounty token to reveal a random number, determining how many tiles your character can travel and what rewards you will receive. On the board, among the default rewards, there are mystery tiles that trigger mystery events and gold mystery tiles that give you a chance to explore the grand prize area. The grand prize tier reveals a total of eight exceptional incentives, encompassing the Thestral Ascent attire, Thestral's glow earrings, Thestral's grace makeup, a prized runic tome, and an assortment of epic, rare, common, and refined common leveling crystals. The grand prize drop probabilities can be checked and verified in the information menu within the event. In the grand prize area, items are available for collection just once. Each exploration guarantees receiving a non-repeated item until all available items have been acquired. Afterward, when all items have been obtained, the gold mystery tile is replaced with alternative rewards until the event concludes. Keep an eye on the bow truckle sleeping in the left corner of the game board. If you move past him three times, he will stir and guide you to the grand prize area, signifying that completing three full loops of the board guarantees a chance to obtain the grand prize. It's worth noting that the bow truckle's disturbance count is reset to zero each time he wakes up. To navigate your character through the game, you need bounty tokens to flip cards. These tokens can be obtained through various means, such as daily sign-in events, limited time rewards during the current Halloween puzzle event, and from the upcoming Halloween Fest event, details of which are yet to be unveiled. If you exhaust all your free bounty tokens, you still have the option to continue flipping cards by spending your stockpile of gems. For each flip, you will use 180 gems, and for three simultaneous flips, it will cost you 540 gems. By the way, regarding the three flips, if you're fortunate to land three pairs of ones or sixes, a random mystery event will be initiated. The mystery events triggered by flipping the bounty tokens include moving your character back to the start, startling the bow truckle once, doubling the rewards on the next tile, receiving rewards from a random tile, upgrading the rewards on any tile on the board, and receiving a bonus gift of free bounty tokens. If you've spent all your gems and still want to continue, there's no need to worry. You can always buy bounty tokens for a symbolic price to keep your wallet fit and healthy. PC users can make purchases on the spot, while mobile users need to complete their transactions through NetEase's official website. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. By Merlin's beard, what is that? What's wrong, Daniel? I mean, I'm telling you, one of Hagrid's pumpkins actually grinned at me. Pumpkins being inanimate can never be alive. I think you might still be under the spell of Lottie's captivating tales.